In today's podcast, we consider humility and submission as we examine God's plans versus our own. Hey there, welcome to the Five by the Fire podcast. I'm your host, Armand Sheffy, a.k.a. Pastor Fury, and I'm also the executive director of the Unshackled Network, a family of missionaries that exist to help the marginalized experience freedom in Jesus by equipping and empowering disciple makers called to the forgotten. And in this podcast, we take a look at a passage in the day's reading in the McShane Bible reading plan, and we dive in for a handful of minutes. So grab a cup of coffee, cozy up like we're by the fire, and let's chat. This is Five by the Fire. And today, we read Judges 13, Acts 17, Jeremiah 26, and Matthew 12. Now today, I'm going to have a confession for you guys. I'm winded. I'm recognizing that I went too far out to sea and I'm concerned about the energy I'll have left to row back to shore. Or said in another way, um, my passion and ambition pulled me too close to the sun and my wings like Icarus are beginning to melt. Okay, enough of all the metaphors. The truth of the truth is that I'm tired and I'm working and I'm working and I'm working to achieve some goals and some dreams that I believe may have started with God's inspiration. But somewhere along the lines, I may have decided to make them my own. I preached on this topic actually to the students at the youth retreat I mentioned yesterday. I participated in that last week, but I am recognizing like why I don't think that last message that I preached landed in the same way that I wanted it to. It's because I had not synthesized that message for myself fully yet. The bottom line was those who stay under authority can bounce back with authority. I cognitively understand that, but When it comes to my own ambition, I struggle sticking to the simple plan and the slower pace that God has oftentimes clearly ordained and set aside for me. In my mind, what happens is I start just wanting to build something, something beautiful that glorifies God. I want to offer so much to God and I want to make use of everything that he's given me to do it. That's good, right? Yeah, yeah, it is, except so often what God started, I take and determine to finish. It's as if God's vision for me seems to be too dull and simple, and I want something elaborate. So I keep running past the finish line. No matter how I might be fooled into thinking otherwise, there is no plan that I can create that is better than God's. None. Apart from Him, I can do nothing, right? Well, what if God has actually only planned that the things he'd use me for would amount to like two pennies? Would I be okay with that? Like if that was all that he's given me, would I be okay with making that my offering? Or am I so stubbornly desperate for my offering to be much greater? Today in Mark 12, we encountered a scene that helped give me a little bit of personal insight into my struggle and I hope it blesses you. It's a scene with Jesus and the the folks that are giving offerings there. Now, we discussed this on a podcast about 50 or 60 episodes ago, but it highlighted a different truth, that Jesus watches over the offering. But today, let's read it and see how else God might use this text. Verses 41 through 44 read as follows. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins, worth only a few cents. Now, calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all of the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything all she had to live on. You guys, God had these people, like a diverse, that he gave them all a diverse amount of financial success. There were rich folks, there were poor folks. Those that had a lot gave a lot. 
And then there was the poor widow who only had two copper coins and she gave all she had, that small, humble offering. But Jesus didn't tell her, I'd be more pleased if you found a way to make more money and give me more of it. He says that actually she put in more than all the others because she surrendered to God all that he had given her. She trusted God with the little that she had and submitted it to him. She decided that she was going to stay under authority. As I approach the podcast today feeling more and more like I'm a basketball low on air, I'm freshly encouraged, submit the little that I have, the little that I have left to the Lord and stay under his authority. Because if I humble myself under the mighty hand of God, he will lift me up at the right time, at least according to Peter. If I stay under authority, then maybe I and maybe you can bounce back with authority. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you so much for your wisdom that we receive on a daily basis as we encounter your word. We thank you that your spirit draws unique understanding and insight out of the text each and every day that we read. Lord God, we thank you that you meet us afresh as we read your word, Father. And I do thank you that today you are reminding me of the core reality that no matter how good and how godly the ambition is, if it's not submitted to you, it's vanity, it's heaven, like it's it's just wind, it's breath. But God, I thank you that... Hmm, as you remind me to stay under authority, that you are filling me back up, that I can even feel my spirits right now being encouraged, that the, the, uh, the wind is being put back into my sails and the ball is being inflated again so that I can bounce back. Lord God, and I pray for each and every one of those right now listening, that they themselves would seek out any places where they are operating outside of your authority, Lord God. Show them based on frustrations, exhaustion, places where their energy is lower than usual, Lord God. Help them to see that in, as they are, are beyond a season of that, Lord God, it's the reality oftentimes that we are lacking submission to you, Lord God, because you bless us with life and vitality as we stay under your authority, Lord. Help us to stay. Help us to stay. Help us to stay. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You guys, I really hope y'all are embracing this today. Um, get under God's authority. This is for me, and I know for many it is for you as well. Let's do this with God, not just for God. Do this life with God under his protective care. I know we can, and when we do, we are going to be blessed, you guys. So go be about your business. If you're watching this on uh, YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, go ahead and like it if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know maybe some places where God might be calling you to surrender or submit. Or, let, or just put a little hand emoji up and be like, yeah, this one was for me too. I'd love to know that God is actually using this as one of those copper coins uh, as an offering to him. So I, I hope that this is a blessing and I hope to see you guys back here on Five by the Fire. Be blessed and be a blessing. Peace.